Hi guys, so welcome back to this channel. So na-miss ko kayo. It's been such a long time. Maraming pagsubok yung dumaan but we need to move forward. So we always choose to move forward despite of difficulties. So in this video guys, ang pag-uusapan natin or ang didiscuss ko sa inyo, you are going to learn here reaction at support. So this is a statics problem. Dinidiscuss rin siya sa strength of materials. So the reason why I need to discuss this to all of you because very frequent siyang lumalabas in the engineering board examination. So malapit na yung board exam nyo guys, yung mga magbo board exam, good luck to you. So I hope na mapasa yun yung board exam. So in this video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-solve ng reaction at supports. So first of all guys, what are those supports? So yung ating mga structures like beams and trusses, they need support to be statically equilibrium. Okay? In this table guys, kinuha ko to sa vector, mechanics, statics, and dynamics. And here in this table, we can see meron tayong different supports. So may, meron tayo ditong roller, short cable, uh, collar on frictionless rod, frictionless pin, or pin connection, and fixed support. So, yung ating reaction are basically forces. So, forces lang naman guys yung ating reactions at supports. Okay? So, for example, ang roller natin dito. So, yung reaction at support natin guys, nakadepende yan sa restriction of movement. So, if you imagine this roller, roller siya, parang bearing yan. So, it can move along the x-axis, right? Pwede siyang gumalaw dito sa x-axis. Makikita natin dito. But, it cannot move, may restriction siya along the y-axis. Therefore, yung kanyang reaction is along the y-axis rin. Okay? Same as this short link. Itong short link na to, it cannot move along. Along this, uh, meron pang link ditong isa. So, yung forces that are acting on that support here and that pin is directed to that other pin. So, it cannot move along this pin. And here, same as on other connections, okay? Same as other connections, Kung ano yung restrictions niya, you can imagine that kung ano yung restrictions niya, dun din yung kanyang reaction. So, for the frictionless pin, most commonly used natin ginagamit yan. Ito yung ginagamit natin. And most frequently rin siya ginagamit sa mga problems. So, yung reaction niya, it cannot move along the x and y axis. Okay? Therefore, ito yung reaction niya along the x and y axis rin. Or, if you find the resultant of these two forces, ito siya, meron siyang angle. Okay? Kasi ito, dalawa yung forces that are acting on that support. Then same as here, ito kasi, you can you can twist that, so pwede siyang magalaw, parang hinge. So hinge siya, it can rotate, therefore wala siyang uh, reaction moment. In this fixed support naman guys, meron din siyang dalawang reaction, it cannot move along the x and y axis. It cannot also rotate, therefore meron siyang tatlong unknown here two forces and isang moment. So, in this topic, guys, bibigyan natin ng emphasis yung concept of moment. So, balikan natin, guys, no? Yung concept of moment. So, when you say moment, guys, this is the tendency of a body to rotate about a certain point or about an axis. So, basically, in the statics, guys, if you just use the two uh, equilibrium equation, just for example, we have here the summation of forces along the x-axis is zero. And we have here the summation of forces along the y-axis equals 0. You just have two unknowns here. Two unknowns lang yung mahanap natin because we only have two equations. Okay? Now, if you use the concept of moment, mas marami tayong magagamit na equation equilibrium. Therefore, if we have a lot of reaction na unknown, we can still find it if we use the concept of moment. So, madadagdagan yung ating equation. So, sa algebra natin, guys, babalikan natin. Kung ilan yung equation natin, dapat ganun rin kadami yung variables para mahanap natin yung mga values of those variables. Okay? Now, here, yung moment natin, guys, summation of moment about any point, let's say point O, should be equal to zero. Okay? Ano ba yung moment natin? Now, for example, dito meron tayong point O. Okay, this is point O here. Then, meron tayong force. So, this is a force, F. So, yung distance ng F from point O should be perpendicular. Okay, so therefore, yung moment natin is equal to F times R. Okay, so FR, F natin is the force. Okay, F is the force and R 
is the moment arm or the perpendicular distance from the force to that point. Okay, tatanda natin yung basic concept na yun. It's very important sa statics. Then yung unit ng moment natin, of course, it's either newton meter. So it's, a, it's force times distance, so newton meter. Huwag natin siyang i-convert to joule, although equivalent unit siya because ang joule is a unit of energy. When you say newton meter, this is a unit of the moment. Okay, this is a unit of moment. And of course, pag English unit, it can either be foot pound force. Okay, foot pound force. Yeah. Now let's let's try to visualize or apply this concept using sample problems. In this problem, we have three loads are applied to a beam as shown. So the beam is supported by a roller at A and by a pin at B. Neglecting the weight of the beam, determine the reactions at A and B when P is equal to 15 kips, or this is. 15 kilo pounds. Okay? So, kilo means times 1,000 yan. So, times 1,000 kung i-convert natin sa pounds. Ang P natin is 15 kips. So, the first thing you need to do in solving these types of problem or all, I mean all problems in statics is to draw first the free body diagram of the figure. So, FBD palagi guys yung nauunang gagawin natin. So, tatandaan natin yan, no? So, FBD palagi yung nauuna. Okay, because all your working equations are based from this free body diagram. So, free body diagram, nandyan lahat ng forces natin. Here, makikita natin dito, nandyan na yung mga reaction at supports. So, ulitin natin, this is a roller. So, yung reaction niya is only upward because ang restriction of movement niya is only on the upward movement. So, it can roll here. Pwede siyang gumalaw along the x-axis. Sa B naman, may restriction siya along the X and Y axis. Therefore, dalawa yung reaction niya along the X and Y axis rin. Now, pag naglalagay tayo guys ng reaction, palagi natin i-assume na sila ay going to the positive axis. So, standard tayo, upward positive to the right is positive kung X. Now, gagawin natin, to find the reaction at A, we need to sum the moments about point B. Okay, so summation. Summation of moments about point B should be equal to zero. Okay? Now, pag nag-summation of moments tayo, uh, just like you when you are summation of forces, summing ka ng force, dapat meron tayong assumed direction. So, ang direction natin kung moment yan, of course, rotation. So, let's say, assume natin that clockwise, okay? Clockwise is positive. Okay? So, if you sum the moments about B, any forces along B, ang moment niya is zero. So, bakit? So, kung tatandaan natin, moment is equal to FR, force times R, or perpendicular distance. Now, if this is applied at point B, itong BX and BY, wala siyang R. So, zero yung R natin. Wala siyang distance at B because nasa B nga siya. Okay? Yung moment nitong dalawang forces na yan, this is zero. So, basically, if we find the moment about B, we can find the forces or the reaction at A. Okay? Now here, imagine na natin itong uh, force sa A. If this push here, okay, pin pinush niya yung beam dito. So it tends to rotate about this point. Okay, this is clockwise. So kung imagine natin, itulak natin dyan. About this point, iikot yung beam natin. Therefore, if assume natin here na clockwise is positive, so itong A natin is a positive moment about B. So, this is, so yung reaction at A, lagyan na natin ng RA, so reaction sub A, then times the moment arm. So, ang moment arm niya should be perpendicular to this force, so 3 feet plus 6 feet. So, this is 3 feet plus 6 feet. Yung other forces naman, itong 15 kips natin, so if this push here, it tends to rotate about point B, so this is counterclockwise. So, ang assume natin clockwise positive, if this tends to rotate the body counterclockwise, this is a negative moment. So, minus 15 kips, okay? Times, moment arm niya, the distance from 15 kips to B, this is 6 feet. So, then, we have here the 6 kips, yung dalawa. So, itong 6 kip dito, it tends to rotate this about point B so, clockwise. So, this is positive. So, 6 kips times 
Yung distance niya, moment arm, distance from 6 skips to B, this is 2 feet. Then we have here itong another 6 skips dito. So it tends to rotate the body clockwise, positive rin siya. So plus, we have here 6 skips times yung moment arm niya which is so 2 plus 2. Ito yung distance ng 6 from point B. So this is 4 feet. So this is equal to 0. And using this equation, hanap na natin yung reaction at point A. Okay? So solving this using your algebra, so i-add natin lahat. Add natin lahat ito, so i-transpose natin to the other side and i-divide natin to 3 feet plus 6 feet or this is 9 feet. So using your calculator, so this is 15 kips times 6, so i-transpose natin. So solving this and transposing to the other side, this is 54. Okay, so this is 54 kips feet. Then divide natin to 3 feet plus 6 feet or this is 9 feet. So, therefore, the reaction at point A is so 54 divided by 9. So, this is 6 kips. Okay, so this is the reaction at point A. Now, to find the reaction at point B here, so hindi na natin kailangan mag-moment about point A because we can solve the reaction at point B using your force equilibrium. So, force naman yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, this is your reaction at point A here. So, summation of forces. So, summation of forces. So, x muna tayo along the x-axis is 0. Then, yung ating assumed uh, direction is to the right. This is positive. Now, using your free body diagram. So, yung mga forces natin along the x-axis is isa lang. It's just bx. Okay? So, bx lang. So, this is bx. So, wala nang iba. So, this is equal to 0. So, therefore, the reaction at point B along the x-axis is 0. So, there are no other forces acting along the x-axis. So, siya lang naman. Therefore, 0 siya. To find B sub y, we need to sum the forces along the y-axis. So, summation of the forces along the y-axis is equal to 0. So, yung assumed direction natin, of course, this is upward. So, positive. Then, i-add natin lahat. So, ito guys, yung ating RA is 6 kips. Okay? So, positive siya. Therefore, tama yung assumption natin na papunta sa taas yung reaction at point A. So, if it happens na ang makuha yung value is negative, okay, negative dito, i-revert nyo lang yung direction ng reaction ni in-assume nyo sa free body diagram. So, ganun lang yung mangyayari. Now, dito, balikan natin sa summation of forces along the y-axis. No? We have here, so, F forces natin, we have here 15 kips, 6 kips, and 6 kips. So, lahat sila downward, so lahat sila negative. Then, we have here RA. So, RA is upward, so it is positive. So, RA, okay, RA, so minus, so lahat ng downward is negative, so 15 kips. So, minus, yung dalawang 6 kips. Then, of course, yung B sub y which is upward. So that is plus B sub y. So there are no other forces. So this should be equal to 0. But RA, RA is 6 kips. So 6 kips minus 15 kips. Okay. So minus 6 kips minus 6 kips plus B sub y. So solving for B sub y. So, we transpose natin lahat to the other side. So, change of sign. This is equal to 0. So, B sub Y here is equal to 21 kips. Okay. So, this is the reaction at point B. So, we have found all of the reactions. So, this will be our final answer here. So, no need na to find the resultant of these two forces here. Kasi, isa lang naman yung reaction. B sub Y kasi yung B sub X natin is equal to 0. So, ito na yung answers natin. RA is 6 kips and reaction along the Y axis sa B is equal to 21 kips. So, let's proceed guys sa ating next problem.
So in this next problem guys, we have here a fixed crane has a mass of 1,000 kilograms and is used to lift a 2,400 kilograms crate. It is held in place by a pin at A and a rocker at B. So the center of gravity of the crane is located at G. So dun sa center gravity, naka-apply yung weight of the crane. Determine the components of the reactions at A and B. The first step that you should do is of course to construct the free body diagram of the crane. Then we put all of those forces. So ito, meron tayo ditong pin. So pag pin, ang restriction niya sa movement is along the x and y axis. Therefore, dalawa rin yung reaction niya along the x and y axis rin. And yung roller natin, isa lang yung kanyang reaction. Okay, the first step is to construct the free body diagram. And your second step, to find those reactions. Now, itong 9.81 kN and 23.5 kN. So, galing siya sa... So, the weight of the crane. So, yung weight ng crane. So, let's say C sub R. Okay, this is ang mass ng crane times the acceleration due to gravity, G. So, mass ng crane is 1,000. And here, 1,000 kilograms. So, times 9.81. So, meters per second squared. So, this is weight ng ating crane. So, this is 9,810 so, this is newton or 9.81 kilonewton. So, divide lang by 1,000 for that kilo prefix. Then, the weight of the crate. So, W sub C is so mass ng crate. Mass ng crate yan. Then, the acceleration due to gravity G. So, mass ng crate is 2,400 kilogram of mass times 9.81 meters per second squared of uh, acceleration due to gravity. So, yung weight ng crane is equal to, you have here, 23.5 kilo newtons. Okay? Ang gawin natin, next is to find the reaction at point P by summing all the moments about A equal to 0. So, the summation of moments about A is equal to 0. So, yung ating assumed rotation is clockwise is positive. Okay? So, therefore, here, yung ating force sub B, okay, let's say R sub B, okay, R sub B times the moment arm. So, yung distance ng um, reaction sub B to A is 1.5 meters. Now, ano ang sign ng RB times 1.5 meters? So, let's say ito yung A, ito yung B, ito yung force, ito yung point of rotation natin. So, if this push here, so it tends to rotate about A counter clockwise. So, kung assuming natin dito, assumption natin is clockwise positive, ito ay negative because it tends to rotate. Okay? It, it tends to rotate about A at a counterclockwise direction. So, negative siya. Then, we have here, so, yung dalawang forces, so, 9.81. So, yung 9.81 kilonewtons natin, okay? Ito yung distance niya, perpendicular distance point A. So, ito ay 2 meters. Okay? So, yung direction niya, of rotation, itong 9.81 kN is actually clockwise. Therefore, positive siya. So, this is plus 9.81 kN times yung moment arm which is 2 meters. Perpendicular distance ng force natin. So, that is 2 meters. So, itong 23.5, same lang din yung direction moment niya about A. That is clockwise. So, ito rin ay positive. So, plus 23.5 kilonewtons times, we have here the moment arm which is 4 plus 2. So, this is 6 meters. So, there are no other forces acting on the body. So, this should be equal to 0. Then, solving for R sub B. Okay, R sub B natin. So, i-add natin to lahat. So, might as well transpose natin yung R sub B. May game positive siya. So, i-add natin to. So, 9.8. This is 9.81. So, this is 160, okay, 160.62 kilonewton meter divided by, so you have this multiplier, so that is 1.5 meters. So, R sub B, reaction at point B, is equal to 107.08 kilonewton. So, final answer na natin to. So, the next natin hahanapin guys is the reaction at point A. So, we can use... You can use moment, okay? You can use moment, but it's simpler to use the force equilibrium. So, force equilibrium na lang yung gagamitin natin, okay? Summation of forces. So, summation of the forces 
along the x-axis is equal to 0, assuming that all forces along the right or to the right of your x-axis is positive. Okay? Now here, we have your ax. So ax, so ax is going to the right. It is positive. So yung na-assume natin, to the right siya, a sub x. So yung r sub b natin is also to the right. So this is r b. So plus r sub b equals 0. Therefore, we have here ax is equal to negative r sub b. So a sub x is negative 107.08 kilo newton. So what does this mean? So ibig sabihin, yung ating force dito is mali yung na natin which is to the right. Therefore, i-revert natin yan. That is, all, that is going to the left dapat. Okay, going to the left, yung force along a sub x. So, negative kasi yung nakuha natin as an answer. Okay, so kailangan natin siyang itama pag nasolve na natin yung mga forces. Then, we find the forces along the y-axis. So, summation. So, summation of the forces along the y-axis equal 0. So, lahat ng upward are positive. Now, we can find this. So, yung ating a sub y is upward, so that is positive. So, a sub y, so minus. Minus dahil yung dalawang forces are pareha silang downward. So, minus 9.81 kilonewtons minus 23.5 kilonewtons. So, this is minus 9.81 kilonewtons. So, minus 23.5 kilonewtons. So, equals to 0. So, a sub y natin is equal to so that is 33.31 kilo newton. So yung answer natin it's either ito itong tatlo here. Pwede na silang answer so yung itong tatlong forces are the answer so R sub B here reaction at point B. And we have here the reaction at point A so component. So it's either ito or kunin natin yung resultant of that reaction. So ito yung reaction niya dito. So using your force triangle Okay, i-construct natin siya. So, if ito yung point A natin, so meron tayong force about point A, yung reaction that is going upward, yung A sub Y, that is equal to 33.31. So, that is A sub Y equals 33.31 kilonewtons. Then, yung ating A sub X is going to the left, that is 107 0.08 kilonewton. So, going to the left because yung a sub x natin is negative. Then, using your triangle, pwede natin mahanap yung kanyang resultant. Okay, ito. So, this is right angle here. Okay, using your triangle, so, resultant natin about point A. So, resultant at A, that is equal to, so, the square root of using triangle or Pythagorean theorem. So, that is 33.31 kilonewtons squared plus 107.08 kilonewton squared. So, the resultant at A equals, so that is 112.14. So, 112.14 kilonewton. So, that is the resultant. So, kunin natin yung, yung scalar quantity niya. So, we need to find the angle. So, theta so, using your tangent, so that is arctan. So, arctan, so opposite over adjacent. Opposite natin is ay, adjacent natin is a sub x. So, this is arctangent. So, a sub y natin, so 33.31 kilonewtons all over. So, a sub x is 107.08 kilonewtons. So, basically guys, ang hinahanap nating angle is ito. Measured from your negative x-axis. So, theta. So, theta equals 17.28 degrees. Okay? So, 28 degrees. So, that is measured from your negative x-axis. So, ito yung theta natin. So, this is angle of theta. So, therefore, Ra, so reaction at A is 112.14 kilonewtons at angle 17.28 degrees from your negative x-axis. So, ito yun yung mga reactions natin. So, R sub B, here, okay? 
or itong dalawa, ax or ey, or pwede natin siyang i-simplify as the resultant. Okay, itong dalawa. This is at angle. So, this is at angle. So, ra. Okay, so vector a is 112.14 kilonewtons. So, yung angle natin is 17.28 degrees. So, ito na yung reactions natin. So, ito na guys. Ito yung pag-solve ng reactions at support. So, I hope that you have learned from this video. So, if you have learned from this video guys, I appreciate if you click that subscribe button and notification bell so that you'll get updated sa mga future uploads natin. Just like this video. So, you just click here to subscribe.